Hey everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would do a sit down video. So I just thought that this would be a little bit of a break from vlogging every day. And I thought that I would talk about college. In case you didn't know, I actually started college on Monday last week. So I started on the 9th of September 2019. So far I'm really enjoying it, but with only being there a week, I've already picked up some things that I think other people should know if they don't already. So I guess this is kind of like the truth about college. I don't know. I thought this video would be good and helpful and useful to some people that's why I'm doing it. So the first thing that I've actually got on my list is that the first week is not as stressful as you think it would be. For me anyway it wasn't anywhere near as stressful as I thought it would be. I thought that I was going to get tons and tons of work. I thought my teachers were going to be really strict. I don't know. I just thought it was going to be more stressful than it was. I feel like my teachers were all really nice in the way that they understood that we were all new. We weren't used to loads and loads of work being thrown at us and also so we just had an 11 week summer so I feel like my teachers kind of brought all of the work onto us in stages so it wasn't like you need to do this 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 and this like it wasn't all at once it was very gradual I think the first few days of college are more you getting to know the subject than you actually doing a lot of work so I had a double of travel and tourism on my first day and we didn't actually do a lot of travel and tourism work it was basically just us setting standards for the class getting to know our teacher we had to do a task where we all kind of met each other and got to know each other a little bit so that was quite fun but that was actually the only lesson that I had on that day so it was quite a nice first day just getting to know my travel and tourism class and my teacher so I just wanted to point this out before I say my next point I'm taking photography travel and tourism and media photography and media are both a levels and travel and tourism is a BTEC as far as I'm aware BTEC means all or mostly coursework. So travel and tourism is 100% coursework. In photography, there are no exams. So again, although it's an A-level, it's all coursework. Media is 70% exam and 30% coursework. Although I'm doing my A-levels and I'm at college and I'm doing two full years, and at the end of those two years, I'm gonna get three A-levels. Actually, only two of my courses are A-level. And because media is 70% exam, there's a lot of content that needs to be learned. I feel quite sorry for the people that are doing three subjects that are 100% exam across the board. Just know it's going to be a lot if you're doing three A levels that are all exam. The note taking is going to be absolutely insane. You're going to have to learn way more content, which is why I'm actually really happy that photography and travel and tourism are all coursework because although I'm going to be in the lessons learning things, I don't actually need to learn things for an exam. So although it's important for me to remember stuff, I can just make notes and make sure that I incorporate that into my coursework. I don't actually have to sit in my bedroom revising for end of year exams. That's only in media. So my next point is you will have to make lots and lots of notes. My media lessons are very intense and they're very fast paced, but that's expected because it's an A-level I'm gonna have to learn everything for the exam. Like, I knew that I was gonna have to learn stuff and I knew it was gonna be a lot. But seriously, the pace is so, so fast. I've learned so much in the last week. It's crazy. And that is why I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to make notes in your lesson. That's gonna be really useful for your actual final exams. If you don't have any resources to revise off of, you're really, really gonna struggle at the end of your two years. And I've only been at college for a week and already I know that. The next thing that I kind of wanted to point out because I was in this position when I first started, you're probably not gonna know a lot of people in your classes. My college is really, really big. I'm not sure how many students there actually are, but I know it's over a thousand in one year. And the chances of you being in classes with people that you already knew are quite slim. But what my college has actually done, in our tutor group, they've tried to put people from our lessons in our tutor group and they've tried to put us with a form tutor that is one of our teachers, if that makes sense. For example, one of my travel and tourism teachers, because I have two, is my form tutor. And pretty much everyone in my tutor group is doing travel and tourism. I do not have a lot of people from my secondary school in my college classes, but that's really good because it allows me to meet new people, make new friends, and also I get to be with people that have the same interests as me. So do not stress if you are in classes 
with people that you don't know. I've actually got a really close friend of mine in my media class, but that's it. The next point I really picked up within my first week of college. The work that you get set will probably not take you loads and loads of time. For example, for my media homework this week, I had to do a one slide PowerPoint on an advert that we found interesting. That probably took me 30, 35 minutes. It didn't take me a long time at all. And that was my only proper piece of homework within the last week. But once I finished that, I didn't just sit around doing nothing. Yes, there was quite a lot of time when I didn't have anything to do because I'd done what I'm just about to tell you. But my whole point is, once you finish the work, always look for something else to do because you will never be completely done. So I finished my media homework and then I went onto my college page and I had a look at the PowerPoint for next week's lesson, just so that I could give myself a little head start and get to know kind of what we were doing. And actually it's really helped me a lot because now I know what we're doing I have a little bit of an understanding on it and I've made quite a few notes. I think this is really really useful because as my media teacher said you're being an active learner. You're making sure that you understand all of the work from before, you're getting all of your work done and then you're also doing a little bit extra to make sure that you understand what you're going to be doing the following week. The next point for me is really really important. I didn't do anything like this during my GCSEs and I probably could have got better grades if I did. Obviously during my lessons I'm making notes mainly in media because that's the only one that I'm going to have to revise for. What I did when I got home is I typed all of my notes up that I wrote in the lesson just so that I'm refreshing my brain with all of the information that I learned that day but I'm also making my notes really neat when I come to revise. I think overall it's just a really useful thing to do that if you have the time. If you don't have time you can just do it every two days but for me I had time so I just did it every night. I think that it will just really help you in the long run. You're just going through everything that you already did, making sure that you understand it. If you don't, email your teacher or go and speak to them the next day. I just found it quite useful and it made me remember stuff more and it made it all stay in my head a bit better. The next thing that I just wanted to say is whether you know 100% what you want to do or not, after college I mean, try and set yourself a goal, whether that's for the end of the year, whether that's just for the week, whether that's a life goal, career goal, job goal, anything like that, because I think that, that will really motivate you to do your work. For example, at the moment, I'm thinking I might want to go to uni to do a media degree. Therefore, I'm making sure that I pay loads of attention in media and I'm making sure that I work just as hard in both of my other subjects to help me get into a uni course that I want to do. Because the worst advice that I could give you is to say, oh, focus on the subject that you think that you're gonna take further. Because I could end up getting an A star in media, a D in photography, and an E in travel and tourism. That's not gonna help me go to uni because you need to get decent grades in all of them. You can't just get a really high grade in the one that you want to take further because all three of your A-levels matter. And the last thing that I just wanted to point out is that in college we have a lot of free periods. I have 12 lessons a week. I think that I have more free periods than I do actual lessons. And you could go into college thinking, oh my god, that's so good. Like, yeah, I've got a bit of homework to do. I'll just wait until tomorrow. Like, I just want to chill out. Your free periods are there for a reason. At my college, we have something on our timetable called plan study. Plan study is written on my timetable four times a week. This is just time when the college advises you to do your work if you have any. Something that they did say is anytime you have written and plan study on your timetable. If you then decide that you want to go out during that time or you want to go and do something else, you need to put that hour back in somewhere else. You can't just forget about it and not do your work. I think it's just really important that you take advantage of the fact that you have free periods. That actually brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to share. If you haven't seen my face before, it probably means you're not subscribed. So hi, I'm Maddie. I'm 16 years old. If you enjoy college related content, this is definitely the channel for you. So make sure to subscribe and stick around. I'm going to try and post a main channel style video every Wednesday and then a vlog style video every Sunday. So make sure that you turn my post notifications on so that you never miss an upload. I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye for now.